Hi folks, back again. This time with what I consider some rather sad news that Tory Lanez has been sentenced to 10 years in the shooting uh, of Megan the Stallion. I just think that it's very sad that this particular situation will cost a man 10 years of his life. But what I think is even sadder and more grotesque is the celebration that I see online that this man was sentenced to 10 years for this incident. Now, people want to say, you know, he's a misogynist. I think that's the word, uh, that he hates women and that they're glad that he got the... No, this is not what... No, no, no. Actually, there was a very simple resolution here. The man is Canadian. They could have sent him back to Canada should they have decided that he was really that much of a threat to the public. But we all know that Tory Lanez is not a threat to the public and that 10 years is far too much. If you wanted to punish him, the appropriate punishment was certainly something less than 10 years. And I venture to say that if he had not been black, if he had not been black, I'm not even sure he would have been sentenced to any time. Because we've seen lately where even where there are mandatory sentences, a lot of judges for the YT people have given them probation. No jail time, no prison time. There are some that think that Tory Lanez only got 10 years because Meg the Stallion's record company engineered most of this. Made her a bigger, more popular star, right? She's got television commercials now, right? So Meg the Stallion has made out very well from this incident. And I don't see her limping, so did she really get shot in the foot? Well, all of that is speculation. I just caution people. Don't believe every verdict that's, ever, that's rendered, particularly when the defendant is a black man. Well, let me know what you think. Think I'm off base? Leave me a comment. Tell me what you think. Drop me a like and please subscribe. Until next time.